So I use this vlog uh, mostly just for me because I know that you know right now pretty much nobody is paying any attention to it. That's fine. I'm using it mostly for me to capture the journey, the moment in time, the evolution of what we do at CrossFit at Brazil. And in the last, I say two years, the thing that has really substantially allowed the, the greatest hockey stick inflection point growth at CrossFit at Brazil was in our ability to get our uh, message out to the world outside of our four doors to let people know that we were there and that we were doing something cool, getting our word out primarily through social media outlets, i.e. me learning marketing stuff. And related to that, me learning sales stuff. And with the substantially increased cash flow that our business was able to generate because we got better at sales and marketing, I was able to step out of essentially all operational roles. I wasn't coaching, I'm not coaching classes anymore. I don't really coach nutrition anymore. Um, my role now is CEO, sales and marketing. CEO, head of sales and marketing at CrossFit in Brazil. And that's been awesome for us as a business. And um, right now, it, uh, it, it seems like the, the landscape of marketing in social media world and in you know, micro gym world, it evolves quite a bit. It evolves quite constantly, but especially in the last you know, year or so, it's really been changing up. Like, you know, a lot of the, the standard front end offers, six week challenge, uh, you know, stuff, get people in the door stuff, doesn't really work at the same level that it did before. Or, or um, there's some kind of market fatigue with it, something. Not really sure what the issue is, the genesis is, but my, my new frontier on sales and marketing is learning how to get our, our brand out there in a fresh and new way that distinguishes us from everybody else. And I'm just spending a ton, a ton of time on learning marketing stuff from marketing minds, a ton of time, like hours a day spent learning, 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 um, watching keynote speeches by key marketing minds, reading the books, listen to the audio, like the podcast, just a ton of time. And so that is consuming a great deal of my present energy is that because uh, I am liberated to do so, I'm liberated to spend a ton of time on marketing and sales because um, over the last two years, as our cash flow continued to increase and our business continued to grow, being able to hire so many people to do so many things that I used to do, creating standardized processes and systems that other people could replicate and duplicate on my behalf, doing all of that stuff, the CEO stuff, doing all of that now, um, the majority of the gym runs freely and independently of me on the day to day. All the classes run without me, all the programming is done without me, all the nutrition coaching is done without me, childcare runs without me, you know, um, the, the, the coaches communicate with each other on scheduling and shifting schedules without me, the coaches communicate directly to the clients for retention, focus, retention purposes without me. There's just so many things the machine now primarily runs without me, which means now my focus can be completely on creating an exciting and effective brand message to send out to the world and let that brand message continue to bring people in who really match our ideal client avatar. Like that's, that is where I'm hanging out right now. And as I write copy as we create graphics, create video. We have a, a photographer who works at our gym every week, a videographer who works at our gym every week, producing fresh media for us. So I can take that, craft it into our brand meshes and ship it. That is where I'm spending my time right now. And by practicing, practicing, practicing it, I'm starting to develop 
a, a sense of our voice. What is our message? What, how is, what is our voice? Like, how do we speak to people who are new to all of this? And uh, like, we're getting better at it. I wouldn't say we're great at it. In fact, like we started terrible at it. We're competent now. I would say in terms of our brand message, our brand messaging, how we get the word out to the community, I'd say we're, we're reaching competence now. But the more that you learn, the more you realize you don't know, and the more my eyes are open to, damn, we did this wrong, we did this wrong, we did this wrong, we did this wrong, and I'm working at systematically snuffing out all of those little systemic flaws, all those little stupid things that we did wrong when it comes to telling our story to the world, relaying what we do to the world in a clear, concise, impactful, exciting way. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now as of February of 2020.